Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be delving into the very first Zoan fruit for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, the Ushi Ushi no Mi Model Bison. The Ushi Ushi no Mi Model Bison is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a bison, as well as a human bison hybrid. In the series it was eaten by Dalton and it made its showcase appearance during the Drum Island arc. In regards to its name, Ushi is a more generalized Japanese word that can refer to a cow, ox, bison, or anything that slots nicely into that general subfamily. Now this also happens to be the very first fruit in the encyclopedia that has an addition to the standard name being the model. This exists due to the classification scheme of Zoan type fruits in the One Piece world. And to help clear that up slightly, if we were to use the taxonomic hierarchy, then the initial name of the fruit is gathered from the family rank, while the model comes from the genus sector. And the model is incredibly important because in the One Piece world there can be multiple fruits that come under certain family names. For example, there are multiple Ushi Ushi no Mi's in the world, so we need to specify that this is the model bison. As for the name bison, there's nothing particularly special about that. The word bison is a loan word from English, although the word itself has had quite an interesting etymological journey through time, with my favorite incarnation coming from the proto-Germanic word Wissundas. Now because of the addition of the model, we've seen some very different takes on translating this fruit's name into English, with four kids opting to take the simplest route and name it the ox ox fruit. Meanwhile, the Viz manga translation was a bit more ambitious, deciding to go with the Ox Ox Fruit Bison model, while in the Funimation dub it is referred to as the Ox Ox Fruit Bison form. Alright, so the key initial advantage of consuming this fruit is that it gives the user the ability to transform into two other incarnations of oneself. The first of which is a bison, pure and simple. Now why would you want to become a bison, you ask? Well, one reason may be the extraordinary speed you now have access to as a bison can move up to 56 kilometers per hour, which is like 35 miles an hour for the what, three countries in the world who still use the imperial system for some reason? For some comparison though, the fastest human speed ever recorded was just under 45 five kilometers per hour, which was performed by Usain Bolt, managing to run 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Meanwhile, the average human is more likely to run between 10 and 15 kilometers per hour. So you know what? All of a sudden the speed stats of a bison are looking absolutely phenomenal in comparison, even if their running style is described as more of a lumbering gallop. The other key advantage of becoming a bison is the incredible boost in strength one would receive. Casually weighing anywhere from 300 kilos to a whole ton, the bison packs some serious muscle to be able to move itself around at such incredible speeds. As a result, this devil fruit seems naturally suited to those who are more inclined to use it for combat, especially when we take the hybrid form into consideration. I mean, just imagine adding the strength and speed of a bison to the human form. It would result in quite a ridiculous being that is now entirely capable of putting those qualities to precise use. And to discuss that, we need look no further than Dalton himself. In the series, Dalton uses the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison almost exclusively for combat, primarily taking advantage of its speed enhancement. In fact, Dalton's speed in hybrid form is such that he is able to dodge bullets and even create after images. But Dalton tends to use this fruit in a very precise manner, making sure to position himself perfectly before using the tremendous strength to defeat an opponent in a single strike, generally performed with a weapon that can really only be described as some sort of spade blade. But this very clinical use of the fruit is an interesting choice that I believe has to do with Dalton's naturally peaceful personality, preferring to prevent conflict where possible. So it does need to be emphasized that this Devil Fruit would also lend itself quite well to an all-out brawler type of person who would certainly revel in the raw strength granted by it. And speaking of raw strength, good god, just considering the potential awakening of this fruit has me eager to consume it myself. Awakened Zoans are much easier to predict than the other two classifications because they basically grant the user a gigantic boost in strength, speed, and durability, as well as make them far physically larger. There is a tricky caveat to awakening a Zoan fruit though, in that the user seems to take on more of the instincts of their particular animal and can completely lose them themselves in the transformation. So it would take a highly proficient user to maintain their complex thought capacity, but if we were to find such a user, then this awakening would be simply devastating. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a bison human. One potential disadvantage that comes with taking on the properties of a bison is that they have notoriously poor eyesight and act mainly based on their other senses. So essentially, a user may very well be sacrificing proficiency of sight. However, they should receive a boost in their remaining senses, particularly those of hearing and smell. Due to their amazing combination of strength and speed, bisons happen to be all around natural athletes and are capable of jumping high fences as well as being fantastic swimmers. Something else to think 
think about is that you can allegedly judge a bison's mood depending on its tail. So if you're the kind of person who likes to hide their feelings, well, this fruit may leave you with a pretty rubbish poker face. And finally, it's worth noting that bisons have quite an unpredictable temperament and are prone to sudden mood swings. So if you're the kind of person who already has rather frequent and potent mood changes, then this fruit is likely to make those much worse and possibly violent. It's much better suited to a more level-headed individual who can control the beast within. All in all, the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison is a solid devil fruit in every way, primarily granting a huge boost in almost every aspect of physical capabilities. But with that said, the kind of people who will see the most benefit from it are those who are physically inclined to begin with. And even then, it's only particularly useful when performing great feats. I wouldn't say it has a whole lot of general utility, and it won't drastically improve the life of the everyday person unless they have a physically demanding profession. But it's still a pretty cool fruit, and certainly one that doesn't get anywhere near its deserved recognition. And with that, we are going to commit the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison to the devil fruit encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be at it again and taking a look at another Zoan type fruit, one that we're all quite familiar with actually, Tony Tony Chopper's Hito Hito no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.